Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop right in. Okay. Hey, Nikki. Or, sorry, she said, what's up, Nikki? <laughs> She's going to, whoever that is, is probably going to laugh that I started differently. What's up, Nikki? Um, I've been best friends with my best friend for about eight years now. We've literally gone through thick and thin together. About a year ago, we became friends with another girl. And shortly after becoming friends, our new friend started treating my best friend terribly. After noticing how upset my best friend was, I confronted our new friend about it, which led to a major fight. We stayed away from one another until recently when our new friend decided to contact my best friend. I believe they're on good terms now, but I can't help but feel a little betrayed by it. Do I have a right to be mad? What's your advice to get over it? Thanks. Okay. First off, let me start to say a few things here. First one is, yes. You have the right to be upset. Really, you have the right to feel whatever you want because you have the right to your own emotions. But yeah, you have the right to feel a little upset. I would feel a little betrayed by that too. Like I put my neck on the line and, and you didn't. But here's the thing. I'm going to make a guessment here. Usually, best friends, people that are really close, um, are friends because maybe my weaknesses are your strengths and vice versa. So just because you had the strength to put your neck on the line, like doesn't mean she's going to have the strength to turn away this girl when she calls her. Um, and apparently she didn't have the strength to do that. And maybe she wants friends and needs that. Um, so here's the thing you're going to have to weigh out. How much do you want that friendship? If you really want that friendship and that friendship is really important to you, I would not say anything. I'm learning very, very, very slowly. I've had some people tell me before that, Oh, communication, it's always necessary. You always need to talk things out. Like, you can talk things out without confronting someone. But I'm realizing now that that's not necessarily always true. And some things don't have to be talked out because that's just who someone is and the decisions that someone has made. So really, it's going to come down to your end. If the friendship is, if how upset you are is something that you can never, ever let go and the friendship is like, the way you're feeling is more important than that friendship, then yeah, I tell her and be like, that was really crappy what happened. At least in my opinion, I feel like I stuck my neck out for you and I did that for you. And then I feel like you didn't show me any loyalty back when she came back to you. Um, you know, but maybe they're talking and they're planning and coming to you. But anyways, yeah. So that's what I would say. But if not, and the friendship is more important then honestly, I don't know if I would say anything. I mean, you know, you know, your friend. I could just see it turning into a huge fight over something that essentially just has to do be with your ego being hurt. Being not, and ego sounds very negative, like, oh, your ego. But I just mean like your feelings, like you feel like you stood up and then they slammed it down and it's like, ugh. so my opinion would be to just let it go if you care about the friendship. Um, like I said, only you know. I have people in my life who I've had other people say, oh, talk to them when things get rough, but I know like, I, this can't be talked out between me and this person. It just is. And I love them for who they are. So you're going to have to look at the situation with your friend. You know what kind of person she is and how she deals with confrontation. Um, but yeah, and in terms of getting over it, honestly, only time will help. Um, and sometimes things just sting and you just do your best to remind yourself, like, I've forgiven them. I forgive them. I'm letting it go. You know, I don't know if this, this whole thing made a whole lot of sense. I hope it did. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, send your messages to askNikkiP at gmail.com and I will see you next time. Bye. Guys. Figure out what it is. Really, they don't realize they like you because you're showing interest in them, but that's what it comes down to. You don't have to change your personality that way. You don't have to like put on this mask and be like, oh, my God, it's like not you at all. You can just ask them questions.